Hey guys, this is Chris Dixon, senior editor with Power and Motor Yacht Magazine. I'm in front of the camera. Operating the camera is Jeff Moser, um, editor in chief of Passage Maker Magazine, and he's going to be offering some running commentary along with me on the Icon Adache 50. This is a new boat that has appeared on the docks at Cannes. Um, she's an interesting, she's an interesting boat. She's drawn a lot of eyeballs. We're going to give a quick, a quick walk through and look at a boat that is powered by a trio of 600 horsepower Mercury Verados. Now, this this boat is the the folks at at um, Icon have also partnered up with Lynx Yachts, which a, a lot of folks might be familiar with. And one of the things that they're trying to do and say with this boat is its extreme customization possibilities. They really want this these this boat to be very customizable, and they also do a ton of their own work in house to wit teak woodwork on the floors down here for um, it lifts out of the way um, this is all done in house all the woodwork on this boat the metal work the fiberglass um, it's all built in Sicily um, at their facilities and they have a slew of craftsmen they're doing their own upholstery they're doing it's basically the way that the way that um, Mark Udo Broich, who is the director of this company, described it to us as they want it to be sort of a one-stop shop. So um, if, you, if you get this boat or one of these models from um, Icon, it is going to be very much your own project. This boat has already been sold, um, so we'll just show you real quick some of the features and, and the, the design keys that the the buyer of this boat wanted mm -hmm. among them you can see these huge um, fold down gunnels um, gunnel sides and they're not all the way back they're midships which is interesting but Jeff you and I reckon this probably is given what almost 20 feet of beam when it's you with the gunnels folded out yeah. yeah 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 I think I think almost 20 feet of beam yeah. um, and one of the things that that the buyer wanted on this boat that was kind of an American touch is this 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 bar um, that and grill so the grill sets right there um, you can sit and be enjoying yourself while having a conversation with the captain um, it's a two-person helm seat um, again the glass the metal work all of this is done in-house by icon so it's it's a really it's a very vertically integrated company and that's what that's what they're kind of going for. Yeah. Um, you did mention customization. Uh, yeah. This boat is available with a range of power options. That's too. absolutely true. Yeah, right? it's so. it's available. This they're selling it not only in triple outboard version, yeah, twin IPS drives. If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. Jeff, it may be triple, but IPS drive option, and then also even a shaft drive option wow. because they do their own hulls, their own infusions, their own molds. Um, Mark said they can pretty much build whatever you want mm -hmm. on this platform, which is mm -hmm. pretty interesting. And one of the points that he made, this is a 52 knot boat. It got here from Sicily in really rough weather over the space of three days, he mm -hmm. said. So that's yeah. a that's a long journey. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's, it's uh, so yeah, every one of these is gonna be kind of a one-off. Yeah. You wanna walk around the front or you wanna step down Let's first, walk around Jeff? the front, we'll show them those high gunnels because yeah. this is an ocean-going boat. They, this is more than just a day boat. Right. So let's show them how, this, the, how high these gunnels are, the, just the full protection of these side decks here. Absolutely. I'm about 5'11", it's come up well above my waist, mm -hmm. almost. And then you have a really excellent seating area up here as well. So you yes, can see and about with a five. with a foldable table. Mm -hmm. um, the owner of this particular boat opted for windows and skylights above the um, the master stateroom. Mm -hmm. um, Mark said, of course, this can also be be built and bought with a sun pad up here up front. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Jeff, you're, to your point, I mean, this is it's this is obviously a, a boat that would be comfortable in pretty heavy seas. Um, Taking pretty decent sized waves. Yeah, this uh, is a, this is just the catbird seat when you're at yeah, sea, right. and just enjoying the day. It's a really nice place. You're, looks like you're well protected, but uh, from the splash of the hull, but uh, you can just get a, take all the views in pretty nicely from here. Yeah, yeah, no question, no question. So let's take a look down below. Sure, you first. Okay. And one of the other points that Mark made was um, you can also have this in more of a day boat configuration where literally. 
the the master cabin goes all the way out to here so this is actually your window for your master cabin and this is floor so you can uh -huh. have it higher a higher in, in a bigger interior as a day boat as well so step down in nicely appointed interior This boat has um, a forward, it's, it's a lounge area, but it also, of course, um, becomes a bed. This can also be, be configured with a full suite um, up front as well. The, this owner, this is the configuration that he ordered. Mm -hmm. Lots of light. Mm -hmm. Let's take a peek at this uh, midship stateroom here. Yeah, and it's interesting because where you're standing up, Jeff, and you can <laughs> shoot me. This is the grill is right next to uh, where I'm able to stand up straight. So you do have you do have an area back here in um, in the rear room mm -hmm. with full stand up height, and then you can climb back here. <laughs> it's pretty comfortable. You comfortable back there? Yeah, not bad at all. <laughs> Not bad at all. I'm going to step above decks. Yeah, go for it. You can also have a full galley down here. some different layout options. I yeah, believe. yeah, exactly. Exactly. Let's finish at the helm, huh? So this is a, a, <clears throat> this is a two seat helm. Um, it's got an adjustable steering wheel. Two people can sit up here comfortably. Um, full configuration, joystick, bow thrusters, um, and manual switches for things like um, bilge, wipers, etc. And your horn, compass lights, so that you know if God forbid you're out in the ocean and your uh, main screen should fail, you can still turn off and on your main components. And uh, so that's a quick quick look um, at the Icon Audace 50. Um, and this is Chris Dixon from Power and Motor Yacht signing out along with my colleague Jeff Moser from Passage Maker. We will see you guys on the water. Sounds good. See you on the docks.